Hello, Brick Dark here, and today I'm reviewing Iron Man's Hall of Armor from the Avengers Endgame Wave. It has 524 pieces, 6 minifigures, and retails for $60 in the United States. So here's Iron Man Mark 50. Now this is the cheapest way to get this version of Iron Man. <coughs> Excuse me. It does come in a $70 set and a $100 set. I just like the curving detailing all around it. I like I think I like this one more than the 80 Mark 85. The Mark 85 is a good armor. Underneath, he does have that cool new face print with uh I like design underneath, I forget what it's called. And also, he has an alternate face where he's looking quite smug. And if you're unfamiliar with how the iron this Iron Man helmet works, it's two different pieces that come in really hard to get out packaging and they just attach to each other and close with a satisfying snap. But that's it for Iron Man. Oh yeah, they also include Tony's hairpiece, which is just a black sleepy head piece. Here is the Mark I, which is a figure people have wanted for a very long time now. And I think this came out really well. It, it looks just really good. This helmet piece that they use for the Invincible Iron Man works very well as well. Underneath there's just a clear headpiece, which is always nice to get more of those. And overall, it's just a really nice figure. I especially like the detailing at the back here. And I'm really glad that we finally got this figure <clears throat> in this set. Here's the Mark 7, which we did get as a suitcase in 2013, but this is the first time getting it as a minifigure. It looks very nice all around, with lots of nice silver details. Underneath is, again, a clear headpiece. And I also like the printing on here, it looks... Even though it's just lines, it lo does look very nice. And this is probably my favorite suit out of them all. I don't know, they're all really good. Here's the Mark 41, which is a armor I don't remember seeing that much in the movies, but here it is. This also has so much detailing in the torso, and I like the gold and black design. And again, the lines on the face have really nice detailing, and again, it's just a clear headpiece. <clears throat> and again, I just really love the these iron suits that we got on this set, and I'm just so thankful LEGO decided to include them. I guess while I'm looking at the Iron Man suits, I guess we can take a look at the Mark 38, I believe, Igor, and yeah, this is probably the worst part of the set. It's quite blocky. Uh, it just looks kind of weird. I, I will give them props though at that this is quite minifigure scale. So there are these two stickers on the arms and two stickers on the legs. And there's also a printed tile and the face just looks kind of weird. Honestly. You can open it up and put a minifigure inside. Um... And you can just close it up like that. So, I think it's an okay figure. You do get a lot of posability. You can pose the legs, pose the feet. You can move these fingers. You can move the hand. And you can move the shoulder. All of which are in mini ball joints. And there's a couple more details. Like the arc reactor there. But overall, I'm just not really a fan of this suit. Because of just how blocky and weird it looks. Our final figure is the Outrider, who does have poseable arms on this nice piece at the back, but other than that, it's the same design that's found in a lot of the Infinity War sets and Endgame sets. And behind, there's a bit more printing for the muscles, and overall, I'm kind of getting a bit tired of these guys, honestly. And you do get two of them in the set. Looking at the main build of this set, you it is extremely modular. You can position it how you like. You can have it like this. You can have it in the standard curve, which I would recommend. It doesn't take up as much space. These parts can disconnect right here. 
and you can also easily disattach these and reattach them and stack them on top of each other which does encourage to you to buy multiple of these but I would k kind of recommend recommend against doing that because of its $60 price point. Now, let's take away these two parts for the minute. We'll take a look at them later. And looking at the actual armor itself, you do have a vending machine, which is a cute little build. I guess a blender would be the right word. There's a ladder here as well, a satellite, which you can move up and down. It's attached quite loosely, though, so it might fall off. You do have a stud shooter, which, if you don't know how that works, you just shoot the stud like that. Just attaches right there. Also, this jetpack, which I'd recommend putting on the Mark One as it just seems most accurate there. There's also a wrench and a stick holding Tony's hair. It's weird, but okay. Then turning around, there are three stickers, which are the Mark V, the Mark 15, I think that is, 25 I'm not quite sure and then there's another display for the house party protocol all those are stickers that attach there and there's also a hole at the back so you could attach some of the other parts there and and it's I think really just a cool and iconic thing now there are the two other builds I'm just going to move this out of the way. So you do have this part, which is akin to him suiting up. And it does pay, play part of the play feature. You can have him on here, you can spin him. You also have these arms, which are quite movable. They can You can have him suiting up. I'd like to see what people do with stop motions with this, because we have a lot of, like, damaged armor suits first crack <laughs> can't wait for the timestamp and i just think it's a really cool like part of the set and it's a cool play feature as well and from some very iconic scenes and the other build is this build of a desk with some stickers that i know are kind of hard to see um so you got this one right here, which, don't know if you can see it, it says System Error, Invaders. You got this one from a blocked caller, which looks like Agent Coulson. And then these two are just analytics on this side. There's also a cup and a spinning chair that can't really move, even though it's on one of those spinning tiles. Kind of weird. And these just attach via Technic axles, so you can reattach it to the Hall of Armor. It's very simple and easy. Now there are two other little builds with Dummy, who has a fire extinguisher and a dunce cap, which I think is just a really comical design. This is different from the Malibu Mansion and the Polybag version, which I like. And then there's also these two little flame bits, which is nothing outside of the ordinary. But that's it for the builds of this set. Let's take a look at the box, and then I'll give this a score. box for this is a big $60 box size. And on the back it shows some of the configurations you can put this set in. There are two instruction booklets for some reason. The only one with anything interesting is this first instruction booklet which does have essentially showing how the QR code thing works, which, I don't know, it's such a weird thing for me. So overall, there's a lot of good in this set, but there's a couple of bad things, mostly the ego suit. I really like getting the armor, and I like that you can take out some of those bits, like the part holding the jetpack and the wrench, and put more armor suits in there. And I also just like the modular 
this of the set. The $60 price point is, I think, fair, but I think it's a bit too pricey to encourage people to buy multiples of this set. I think maybe a $50 price point would be a bit better. Now, still, this is a really great set. Probably my favorite endgame set so far. We still got like five more sets that need to be revealed for like January 2020. But overall, I'd give this set a solid 8.75 out of 10. I think it's a really cool set. It's a, it's even though it's not accurate to Endgame, this is the last time that they could do one. Um, because spoiler, it's been out for months. You should probably know this. Tony dies in Endgame. So if I spoil that for anyone, well then, you didn't see end, you didn't see Endgame in time, my friend. It's been out for months. You probably should have seen it by then. But anyways, that's it for now. See you guys later. Peace.